Each person who uses Catalyst will need a user account. In order to view the list of users in your organization or to create a new user, click on the Administration tab in the upper right corner. Under the Administration menu, click on Users on the left and a list of current users will be displayed. To create a new user, click the Create New User link on the bottom left and a pop-up window will appear. In this window, you will need to enter the user's demographic information, as well as a username, password, and device PIN. The username and password are used to log on to the portal, and the device PIN is used when collecting data in the app on a mobile device. The password must be at least four characters long and needs to include at least one of all the following an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, and a number. The device pin must be a six-digit number that is unique within your organization. To require a user to change his or her password upon initial login, select the checkbox stating, Force user to change password. You must also select the security group to which the user belongs and define which students the user can access. Catalyst offers enhanced security measures in the form of security groups. Security groups are completely customizable and based on rights or privileges you, as the administrator, wish to allow the user to access. For more information regarding creating and managing security groups, please refer to the Catalyst User Guide or the video library. Under the Student Access menu, you can select which students the specific user can access. Users can have access to all students or specific students within your organization. If you choose Specific Students, you will see a selection box containing all the active students in the system. To assign more than one student to a user, simply click on the student names. If necessary, the user's security group and student access can be changed once the user has been created. After you click Save, you will be redirected to the Employee Management page, and the new user you just created will be displayed in the list of active users.